Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. I want to show you this little quilt behind me here. This is made with that cuddle fabric that's so soft. I didn't know what kind of interest we'd have in this, so we put a little picture of it up on Facebook. And man, we just got plowed with people who wanted a tutorial on this. So we thought we'd right away try to get it out to you so that you could make this. This is super easy and super, super fast. And it's just really, really cute. I mean, this is so soft and so cute it's just amazing so to make this quilt i have eight across and ten down so i have 80 charms on the front and 80 charms on the back you can see that the squares are on both sides so when you get done sewing this together you have a completed quilt that's already quilted in everything so what we're talking about here is 160 charms. Now, most charm packs come with 40 charms in them, or 42, but the Minky charms are fat and thick, so they only come with 20 in each pack. So just remember that when you're looking at the cuddle charms. Um, these are cuddle charms from Shannon Fabrics, and the pink one is called Girly Girl, and this blue in front of me is called Bashful Boy. So let me show you how to make this quilt. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our charms together like this and we're going to go ahead and lay out our whole quilt. But I put two, the two charms together that were matching, I put together right now. I'm, so when I'm laying it out, I'm going to make like little stacks. So I'm going to put this out in rows like this and I like to lay mine out ahead of time so that I can be sure that none of my fab, none of my, you know, colors are right sides together. And the cool thing about laying it out now with your, um, with your two pieces together is that if you like the front, you're going to like the back because the back is going to be identical to the front. So here I have a row and then I'm going to put out another row here. And we just make sure we don't have two of the same right next to each other. This method is so fun. It's similar to rag quilting, um, except we're going to stuff those little pillows. Now, see, we wouldn't want that one there, so we're going to move it around and see if we can uh, mix them up a little bit. We'll put this one here, and let's put this one here. And then the only other thing, once you get your quilt all laid out like this, I'm going to put this over here. There we go. Once you get your whole quilt laid out, and I just have two rows, but you'll lay out your whole quilt. Once you get that all done, your, um, the only other thing you're going to need is some fluff to stuff all your little pockets. So let me show you how to put these rows together. So we're going to start by sewing a row together like this. And I have two more pieces to put on here. And when you sew these together, you take both squares, wrong sides together, and you're going to put all four pieces. So you're throw, sewing through four layers of minky like this. And I just did what I call a fat quarter. So I come over here to the sewing machine and I just leave a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to back stitch on this a little bit. And you just kind of have to make sure these stay put. They tend to want to be a, just a tad bit squirrely. But even if they don't match up, it's not going to matter. And I'll show you why. So this one, see, so see how this seam comes together? And it's not completely perfect, but that's all right. So then the next seam we're going to do is we're going to lay, we're going to put these two together and this will we'll just attach them and we keep pulling our seams to the front like this. See this is our seam and it comes up to the front um, and that gives us, that's going to give us this fun uh, raggy look. So let's go ahead and sew this one together to make a whole row. Make sure these all stay lined up. Again remember you're sewing through four layers. And, and now we have a row finish. Now all of your rows you're going to sew together just like this and you're going to sew the ends as well. So I still need to sew this end, so let me go do that. 
I forgot about that little end because we don't want our fluff coming out of the end. Now on the very first row, you're going to sew along the bottom, but that's only the first row. You'll sew all along here because you don't want your fluff to come out. So I have started stuffing some of these and I just want to show you how we do that and I will add this row to it so that you can see. So right here, this was my first row right here and I sewed the seam across the bottom and I filled my pillows and then I attached the next row with all the seams coming forward. So now I have this next row of pillows to stuff and I have this fluff here. We don't have a little um, uh, a, a hobby store in town so I just go get pillows <laughs> from, our, from our little uh, variety store down the street and uh, I just cut those up and use the fluff in them. So here's all I'm doing. I'm taking a little handful like this and I'm just opening these two up and sticking them in here. So we're opening that up, sticking them in here. And it's just a little handful. There's no, you know, critical measuring. I don't, I don't stuff them so that they're a certain thickness or you know, whatever. You don't want to stuff them so full that you can't sew the seam together. You just want to kind of just put a little fluff in there so they stick up. Alright, so now we have to attach this next row to it. Now when you attach these rows, it is just sewn the side seams and the ends. And so then we're going to lay this right sides together and we're going to sew it. Now the cool thing about sewing these together is that these seams we want these seams, actually we're going to do it this way because we want our seams to, we want our seams to show and these seams will just nest together. You can lay one go one direction and one go the other and we just sew this on. So let's go do that. And you can see I've just put my fluff in here and I just, it doesn't come out. I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to back stitch on this edge right here. Then every time a seam comes, what I do is I hold one, one, uh, one seam going forward, one seam going back, and I just hold that down with my finger. And then I line up the next one so that they're, they're, it, it just lines up just exactly. And we're sewing closed our pillow, and then that leaves up. Uh, our next row open so it's ready to be stuffed. It's so easy. It's just, this fabric is just so soft. Alrighty. So now you've got these rows sewn together and the rest of the quilt is made exactly the same way. You're just going to stuff these little pillows and you're going to attach the next row to it and you're going to just keep doing that until the quilt is the size that you want it and then at the very top you're just going to sew that edge down like this to completely close the quilt and then your quilt is finished, done, except for one more thing. Now you need to make these little clips in here. See how all of these are clipped? It gives it that raggy look. And what you're going to do, I just use, I like these rag snips, and you're just going to come along first the outside edge, and you're just going to clip in like this, and you're going to clip to the stitch line, but you don't want to clip the stitch line. If you clip the stitch line, you'll need to go back and sew it. So wherever there's a seam like this, like this right here, you're just going to hold it together, and you're just going to clip it along here. One time I made a whole bunch of these quilts for my grandchildren and I didn't have these rag snips. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I had blisters on my hands from snipping these snippers, you know, where the scissors come around here. It was terrible. So the rag snips are very helpful, but you can see already how cute that is. I mean, it just looks all cute and raggy and you're just going to do that on every little seam and you can sit and do this while you watch the television. Now, I do want to tell you that um, Cuddle cloth, this type of cloth, it does really, it's real linty, and, but once you put it in the dryer, it all goes away. It, you know, it just takes care of it all. There's no raveling, there's no fraying, I mean, it just is a great, great fabric. 
So, uh, so it's just a lot of fun. So you just keep snipping and snipping and pretty soon you're all done and you have this fabulous, fabulous quilt that you're going to love. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the stuffed cuddle cloth rag quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.